here's a simple little game that I've taken from a um, workbook. Well, I found these pictures from a workbook. And again, I use any colorful picture that I have. For example, once we finish the workbook, or if I know I'm not going to get to it, to a certain page. Instead, I'll cut out the pictures. I'll put it in a little plastic folder like this, which you can get easily by 50s or 100s. And I'll add a little title to it. We're calling this game Similarities. That way I can collect these, keep these in our little language skills box if this is what the game is about or social studies if you like and I'll know exactly what it is because I have our little title here. Anyway, so he has to find the animals that are similar to each other. So this is pretty easy. So he might put them together like this and then like this and then like this. But that's not the end of the game. He has to compare the two and tell me why are these similar. So he has to really think. And it's good um, language practice there. He has to explain it to me in a way that I can understand. Or in the way that he sees it different. Maybe it's not exactly the way that I see it. But then you really take note of how your little one thinks. How his mind is working. Now how are these similar? You can talk about, well, they both have beaks. They both have wings. They both lay eggs, etc. Anyway, it's good for him to think about those things. And here again, how are they similar? You might say, well, they have four legs, they have a tail, they have ears. Then you have to really think, okay, well, what's similar about them that's, diff that's different from other animals? Well, people ride on them, for example. They make a similar noise. They live in similar places, etc. Anyway, so this is a fun little idea of something that you can do with your old workbooks or some that you don't see yourself using right away. And then you can make the game, cut them out, and use it over and over again for as many children as you want.